Dun 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 dun. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Baby Firefly, the taxidermy witch. I'm going to show you how I make my black witch's salt. First thing I do is I get all my magical familiars, uh, plant and animal, out. And right here is Gertrude, my Rose of Jericho. I've given her bullets and flowers today. Bullets will speed up anything that you are trying to do and hit your desired target. They're also made of brass, so brass is a great gold substitute, among many other energies. Uh, and I've given her hands to animate her. Every time I work with her, I give her a little splash of this lovely moon water. And I've been keeping her outdoors, which has been working really, really well. Mm -hmm. I try and pour it on top of the crystals, just to kind of like charge and activate those again. Oh, Gertrude has given me so much abundance over the years. I'm just so grateful. Thank you, Be Young, for sending that my way. Over here, I have the new cow school <clears throat> that I procured from my uncle, and uh, we have a bundle of dandelions that is tied together with a piece of hay from the goats. And uh, I've just placed that on the top. If you watch my dandelion video, you know that dandelions are good for uh, calling spirits. So I am putting those onto the top of the cow skull to call the spirit and ask for its help. And this jawbone is great for communication. So all of this is making a lot of sense. The horns are amazing for strength, power, uh, even fertility. Coming over here... I'm showing you my spirit communication lamp, which when I put this together, I did a video on YouTube of it. So you look up taxidermy, which spirit communication, setting the lights in hoodoo. Uh, so there's bay leaf, there's mandrake root, there's magic mushroom. There is a lot of things in there. There's that magic mushroom. I couldn't find it the first time. Um, star anise, uh, frankincense, and out of you know, lamp oil, amaze. I love how it's clear and you can see everything all the way through. Lam and there's cinnamon stick right there. Lamp oil is amazing, like, because the only thing that deteriorated at all in the time of two years was the frankincense, which you can see right below the bay leaf right there. And it just gets a little muddy looking. But it's clear, you can see through, you can see your herbs, they're burning through that flame. It, it, and you can heighten or lower that flame if you need more fire element during your working, if you need more spirit, if you need more heat. Uh, and I sell these on my Etsy shop if you need one, message me. Here is a little poison bottle. It's vintage. It's amazingly beautiful. It's amazingly powerful and amazingly old. And so it says RIP. On the other side, it has a little poison thing. Why I'm using this is I'm trying to poison anybody that breaks my protection circle. And I am trying to keep a barrier and I'm using that. Uh, and so here I have another gift from a taxidermy witch family member, which is this amazing red glass <clears throat> star candle holder, which I've burned candles in before, but now I use it just to hold my selenite. And I have a little bit of uh, salt in the bottom of that, which you can see is the white debris. Uh, careful with selenite, you can get splinters from it. Uh, it's amazing. I can't say enough good things. It's a self-cleansing stone. Um, and that's why I'm using it here. It just refreshes an area. It keeps it, like, all that negative shit away. Okay, back here, I'm going to show you William, my mandrake root. Uh, he's awfully dirty. And it's because I put DNA on the glass all of the time. Uh, down below you can see his actual root. It's in a little um, creme brulee dish. Glass. Everything is glass. And then I put a glass head over that to animate him. Uh, give him eyes. Give him visions. And down here is from my last video. Mm, the ivy that I plucked and I foraged. Well, when I was breaking apart those forages, I cut my finger. And I bled. And I thought, perfect, I'm going to make black salt. Because any time I bleed, I want that fresh blood for a working. I don't cut myself on purpose. I have once or twice. I don't do it anymore. Hello, Lilith and Samael. Thank you for all of your help in my everyday life, in my every working. This is the black salt bottle we're trying to fill. As you can see, I'm quite low. I got this at a yard sale for 
a dollar. And as you look at the detail on the top, like it's a beautiful bottle. It's so cloudy. When you look at it to the side, it's got that uh, oil spill look. Um, so I love that one. That's what I keep my black salt in. Over here, we're talking about what we're going to add into the black salt. So we're going to start with um, ashes that were burned from our fireplace during Samhain. And uh, oh God, these pieces of charcoal that come out of the fireplace, you know, they're just ultra black, ultra fantastic. But when I burned this on Samhain, it was to protect myself from evil. It was protect myself from evil spirits. You know, it was all about protection and offerings. So I'll be crushing some of that piece that I just laid down. I'll be uh, crushing that up and putting that in my black salt. And that'll be a first time for my black salt. I just thought of it today. And I think it's going to be great. Coal discs. So King, Three Kings is what I normally buy. I sell these on my Etsy shop. Coal discs, if you crush them up, uh, they make this amazing black powder, which is under that gold lid that you see there. And I want to rub my finger on it just so I can show you that, yeah, it is, you know, it's it's darkening. It's black, yeah. And then you want to make sure, of course, you have some salt. So here in my mortar and pestle, I already have some salt. You can use any type of salt you like. Any type. The cheapest or the most expensive. You know, Morton's or Celtic gray sea salt from a blah, 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 blah. Like, honestly, you can use whatever. Hawaiian sea salt or Hawaiian salt, pink Himalayan sea salt, anything. But you do need a salt in there because it is black witch's salt. Mm -hmm. So you put your coal discs in there. You grind them up if that's what you choose to use. But I've got some alternatives. You know, you could use the coal from the fireplace. Here's some dragon's blood that I've crushed from a resin, you know, rock. Uh, it's my very fucking favorite smell. It, it's everything to me. Like, if you suffer with anxiety or depression... But in general, I'm using the dragon's blood to protect me because I am a dragon. Look how beautiful it is. Just stick your nose in there and fucking smell it. It's amazing. Trippy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next we have iobrite, which, and this is powdered iobrite, okay? Uh, it's, you know, quite more expensive. It is organic. You get that from... Star West Botanicals, I think it's called. Keep it in amber glass because I'm using this for clairvoyance, clairaudience, all the clairs. You know, the iobrite really opens your mind, opens your eyes, and I'm keeping it in amber glass to preserve the magical powers. Over here, I have your coal disc substitute, which I think is even better. I'm going to show you in a moment why I think it's better. So that is activated bamboo charcoal. Now, I'm going to rub the coal disc on my hand, okay, and show you how dark it is. See me do that? And then I'm going to stick my finger into this activated charcoal and show you how dark it is. Now, everybody's like a, a crazy, a lunatic. I fucking love lunatics. I'm a lunatic. A lunatic. Crazy about the moon. Everyone's a lunatic for how you can make this so black, so dark. I got that on Amazon, the activated organic bamboo food grade charcoal i was ingesting that for a while it's great for you you can use it in your magical toothpaste your magical makeup oh my goodness so many things back here i this is a new thing again i this video is 18 or above these are marijuana ashes and they're dark they're resinous they're you know sticky they're black and if you're using it for a protection they could confuse because it is a narcotic a product of a narcotic you could confuse your predator, for lack of a better word. Mm. I love that vintage ashtray. I got it when I was like 21. I collected them when I smoked cigarettes. Thank God I don't need more. Hello, Morticia. So I forgot to show you my uh, absinthe. Absinthe Wormwood, Spirit Familiar. And I use her pounding sticks when I come bring the mortar and pestle over between these three rocks. Now these three rocks ground my working. <sighs> Morticia, I've given I I've given her an offering, but it's private, uh, so I'm not showing it here. Uh, and again, this is um, I'm marking my sigil, or excuse me, my symbol on 
to her communication bone. So I've got Rose of Jericho, Absinthe Wormwood, European Mandrake Root, a Cow Skull, and Lilith and Samael working with me right now. It's beautiful. Uh, so here is Cold Disc when they're all crushed up. You want to use a mortar and pestle that's just for black things if you can afford to have all different kinds of mortar and pestles because all these things do get really black and dark and that's why I keep them in this dark mortar and pestle. It has a pentagram on the front. I found it thrifting for like 10 bucks and I think they're 40 bucks if you get them online. So you have two choices. You know, you could use the bamboo charcoal you could use the coal discs uh both are effective both are amazing i'm gonna paint my symbol which is like kind of like a hashtag but it really is just two t's on top of these rocks the taxidermy the taxidermy the taxidermy so now i've grounded myself i've grounded this working i'm gonna take out my bounding sticks and as I crush them up with one hand, I'm going to be pounding these on the ground or the table with the other hand. I like to get things dirty. Like I'm rubbing all of that charcoal all over those uh, pounding sticks that came from Morticia. Here's an example of Morticia's, one of her sticks that I didn't pluck, just kind of still in there. Um, I'm not the best gardener, you guys, but I, I do my best. So pound those with the working. I don't know if pounding sticks are a thing. I don't know if I made them up. That's what I do. Uh, you know, pound your intention and I fucking love it. Ground yourself with these rocks, these earth elements. Get your hands dirty. Look back. Make sure you change up your working. My working is cool, but you need to make your working your own. And uh, baby firefly loves you. It's, it's so love and lightning beautiful. out there. Love you guys. Bye. <sighs> love you guys. It's love and lightning. Let's do this thing.